Hey y'all, so I'm doing a collective reading. I was guided to do it on my first channel and I was guided to not to actually not leave this channel even though it's shadow ban. Uh, because I just get so much bullshit related to this channel. I'm, I'm going to put out the 50 minute fucking story time that I did. It's uploaded, but I don't know if I'm going to put it out before this or after. But it's basically about how... People in my family try to gang up on me because of this family, because of this channel, basically. And they're still trying to do it in multiple different ways. Um, but I just like got triggered and got it to share the story of why I don't talk to a lot of my siblings because of the simple fact that somebody who I barely even know came and asked me why I don't talk to my siblings or well, one of my siblings. And he said it in a way where he felt like he knew that it was my fault. But this is the sibling who, the last time we talked, we had an argument because she tried to argue me down that it's not a God. And she was telling, asking me, why do I believe in God? Then I told her that she turned it into a debate. But it's so much other shit. And, and then it's like, they got involved in like some cult witchcraft type shit. Um, and he started trying to bring this person or people around me who kept bringing me up to them. But he was fairly new as far as I'm concerned. Like, as far as the whole situation. Anyway, I probably put it out before this or after this. But regardless, I feel God to do a reading. And that energy is still, like, heavy on me. I really honestly think... I mean, I'm annoyed that people I don't talk to because they want to pick on gang up on and bully me because they went crazy when I became spiritual and did like readings for them that like, turned out to be accurate. I feel triggered that they're still running around doing smear campaigns on me, but still at the same time, it made me feel like I need to just tell my stories in some type of way. Because people can just try to create a narrative that, oh, she went crazy and stopped talking to us because she do terror or became spiritual. No, y'all went crazy because I became spiritual and started um, predicting things accurately. That's what actually happened. Y'all went crazy. Like. It's like fake. Christians involved in the situation not saying she is one she don't believe she's from but she told me that she's God but people are gods but I don't know if that's the case why would you need me to believe that but it is a uh, fake Christians involved as well and it's like girl if you have rituals and ceremonies where you uh drink the blood of Christ and eat the blood of eat the flesh of Christ or you pretend to with crackers and fucking wine that sounds more like witchcraft than anything I ever done in my life. Like, please. But I'm, I'm gonna read. The fuck? Got the three of cups reversed. So there's a whole lot of gossip. <laughs> Bro, there's a lot of gossip going on. People just liking to hear themselves talk. People coming together with other people who like to hear themselves talk. People creating a false narrative on purpose, group think, hive mind, um, let's get together and attack somebody so we can feel strong and powerful type of mentality. Three of Cups reverse. Let go of the Six of Wands. Replace that energy with the Five of Swords. Okay. The Five of Swords as advice is talking about fight back, shaking things up. Um, so obviously, if the Five of Swords come out as advice... It's saying you're being bullied or you're being picked on. So you have to uh, fight back. <laughs> I just got the saying. the To beat a monster, you got to become a monster. Not saying become a bad person. But like sometimes you. I mean, what do you do? You got to slay the beast. Not saying literally slay. But you know, Seven of Swords is the direct angel message. You're being lied on. Like people are creating a false narrative about you. It, this is for you. So it's telling you to let go of the six of wands. So let go of how things look, feel, who's going to be on your side, feeling like you need cheerleaders. Because sometimes I can see the six of wands is like cheerleaders because these people are with him, walking with him, and it's telling you to let this energy go. These people who you thought was supposed to be with you, or maybe you was with them, you rode for them, you fought for them in situations. 
but they're against you whatever let go of thinking these people are going to be your cheerleaders who are clearly lying on you like bro i'm definitely putting this shit out before i put this out like it might be some cussing or maybe like things don't sound that great but i gotta get it off my chest this stuff i just be walking around with and I don't care who watch it, don't watch it, like it, don't like it, but it's going to be off of me. And hopefully after I put that out and put this out, it's not something I don't need to talk about again. Even though I do actually need to make a part two, I'm only going to talk for like two minutes, I think. I do need to make a part two, or maybe I'll just say here how they tried to throw it in my face that they wanted to make me a sacrificial lamb. Because the girl kept trying to get me to watch a knock on the cabin door she never tried to get me to watch movies so after all the taunting and bullying that if you watch that story time you'll know that these particular siblings put me there is not all of them but the one i'm talking about um well one of the ones if you watch the movie a knock on the cabin door or even read the synopsis or whatever is that a thing i never used that word in my life but anyway, it's basically a man goes to a cabin with this this family there. He tells the, it was a group of people. They come to the cabin and approach this family and it's like basically y'all have to pick somebody to be sacrificed. And that person has to agree to be sacrificed. Well, what came out in the channel message on this channel before is with agreeing to be a sacrificial lamb. Of course, nobody, sometimes like in the movie, they came to him and straight asked them. But in reality, like, they'll just try to get you to agree in different ways. Like, by doing fucked up stuff to you and then seeing if you'll still sacrifice things for them. Time, money, feelings, uh, whatever, sex, whatever. <laughs> for them, like, that's agreeing. Um, but, or, and, <laughs> or, like, make things around you fall apart to the point where you off yourself. Because that's what happened in the movie. He ended up offing himself, I think. Yeah, and that would make you the sacrificial lamb too. So creating circumstances or situations where you just feel like it's, it's no way out other than to sacrifice yourself. Which will never fucking happen with me because I, I will never do that. No matter how dire my circumstances are, um, like it don't matter. I will never put my kids in a position where all they have is y'all. The same people who put all this bullshit, who try to put shit on me that is not for me. Like... But anyway, moving on. Let go of that energy. Take on the five of swords energy. So say what you got to say. I feel like what you have to say is not bad considering what you're facing. Like I said, this energy of somebody being bullied and needing to stand up for themselves with the five of swords. Say things to rock the boat or something. But true things, of course. Um... It's the energy of things needing to go left before they can go right. Because coming towards you is this king of stats, the king of wands energy. So it does show things going right for you um, in the near future. But you got the five of swords, three of wands. So, hmm. Six of swords. So the three months can talk about creativity and creation. So I think it's something that you're creating, working on, that you've been like distracted from, or maybe even blocked from, or maybe even told you shouldn't do, or you like <laughs> being purposely distracted from. But it's just talking about creating, regardless of who don't like it, because I feel like you're an innovative person. So the six of swords is here is like. Do it until it makes sense or follow your own knowing. Whoever you are, you obviously have some type of foresight for it to go from the five to the six. It's like, you know that once you get past some like negativity, it's the rainbow after the storm. So it's like following your own God in light because he is looking at the sunlight, but it's like water he has to get through. I'm here waiting weight and water so water can I present emotion or like oh shit hopefully all you see me 
Bev. It could talk about weight and water or whatever. Weight or, water can represent emotions or spirituality, so it could talk about spiritual warfare or whatever. But I was making sure my window was closed because, I don't know, if you pull cards or if you are spiritual, if you have foresight or if you like have predicted things with or without cards, you might notice that people will try to distract you. Like on a lot of my readings, it was an issue with people banging on the walls, like why I'm reading, shit like that. It's always situations where you'll... People do indirect things, and then when you directly talk to them about it, they'll play stupid. That's called the silent dagger. It is definitely a technique that is used to fucking try to play with people's minds. And maybe if you if you don't know what's going on, they might actually convince you that you're crazy. It's where they'll do things, but then if you directly talk to them about it, they'll act like they didn't. But the only problem with that is video recordings. The only problem with that is screenshots. The only problem with that is, like the fuck <laughs> facts but whatever so currently affecting you right now is the nine of pentacles how is affecting you is the nine of swords reverse so for this to be the energy affecting you the most it's showing you as a very unique individual self-sufficient self-sufficient um reliable uh, upright person also feel like with him having a cardinal in his hand i feel like you're very connected to spirit you get direct spiritual messages from another round look at the snake look at the snake in between his legs i never noticed that snake so with this being underneath the three of cups So you got fake family members, fake friends wanting to be be able to cause a problem with you being self-sufficient <laughs> or being able. So you got these people working towards either trying to block money, fuck up your confidence, fuck up something related to who you are as a person. How is affecting you is the nine of swords reverse. I feel like you're trusting a higher power. I feel like you are being told these things and you're seeing these things because everything I said on that video and on this video is based on the facts like i'm not saying nothing based on anything i pulled from cards everything i said are events that happened that i just kept forgiving like i even have text messages from my birthday where this person was like i'm sorry about the pain i caused you or whatever and of course i'm saying i love you i love you too like all this type of stuff like that but what just i was never going to speak on none of this until this man came and asked he asked me why i don't talk to her like why are y'all sitting around talking about me but not telling this man the whole story if you would have told him one of the things i feel like he would be able to understand why i'm not around but anyway um why is the nine of swords reversed here with the nine of pentacles bro you got the eight of wands some type of communication six of cups so that's related to childhood, old relationships, a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio could be involved in this or somebody who you used to be in a relationship with or somebody or people who you love. This can talk about childhood or past lives. So I feel like whoever this group of people are, like maybe they've been trying to do this for multiple lifetimes or they just keep trying multiple like they keep trying over and over again with the six of cups that's like reconciliation but if we're not talking about love it could be family members and friends that keep trying to reconcile with you until they're able to get that final like snake bite in that end you or something but i feel like with the nine of swords you're not worried about it you're not worried about having these people in your life that hurt me here because I think every time with the King of Cups upright, the Eight of Wands, every time you were genuine with them, every time they came back around to your life, I felt like you were genuine with them and they were snakes. Look, you got the six, of, the seven of swords here is your angel message. What fell on the floor is the Empress. It came out kind of sideways. So, hmm. It could be a person or people lying about who you are as a parent or uh, trying to ruin some type of image. But I don't give a fuck about no image. That'd be y'all. That'd be y'all. <laughs> like, I really wish I never told anybody in my family that I, that I do terror at all. But you can't go back in time. 
people just want to be ignorant bro. but anyway i'm not gonna rant or go off on <laughs> that anymore during this meeting anyway but yeah it's lies going around about who you are as a mother if you're a mother or who you are as a father the three of swords is here this is because of their shadow energy whoever is doing this it is strictly because they're bitter maybe you broke up with them or they're doing it for money or maybe this is how they're trying to break you down or trying to get you to look like who they tried to portray you as so they lied on you and made you seem like somebody you're not but then they tried to create circumstances around you to where you'll look like something you're not so this is like uh causing problems in a workplace causing problems with money i'm um, trying to put extra baggage onto you and then i think they want to break you and then play like the hero like to your kids or to people who don't know what's going on who don't know the ins and out of who they are as people or you but whatever coming towards you is the king of wands so that is aries leo sagittarius energy it is the energy of victory though it also shows um a boost in confidence so something meant to break you i feel like it's really making you stronger uh it shows you it's very much attractive Look, the devil reversed. That's the devil having no power over you in the near future. That's you breaking the chains that bind you. I just heard, woman, thou art loose, but you could be a man, of course. Somebody's going to be loose from the devil completely with the devil reversed. It could be a Capricorn involved, a Taurus, a Libra, um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. You got the four swords and the five of cups. So I feel like laying to rest some type of pain from the past or laying the past to rest. Because somebody has been carrying the past around with them. Right? You've been carrying the past around with you. So taking on this five of swords energy that is telling you to take on actually is going to help you move into this forest words like laying your swords down and laying the past to rest some type of painful memories to rest like hold it on the side that's what make you die early type energy so look the emperor that's how the energy is going to affect you how else is this energy going to affect um the viewer that is coming towards them the emperor here can i get one more a bunch want to keep jumping out can i get one more for this emperor bro that's a lot too can i get one more for the emperor two wands so you got the ball this is you calling the shots and having a ball being put in your court for some of you this is talking about a divine masculine energy or is it talking about a fire sign coming in towards you or somebody who is a okay you got an unexpected ally or that's just you being a boss being a leader having the ball being put in your court so you do have the emperor and the empress out here but I just feel like I don't see this as a relationship reading, even though this could be the ally coming in towards you. It could be your divine masculine or feminine. But either way, it shows you being in control, making your own rules for your life and them working for you. It shows you as a leader, a successful leader. It also shows plans working out perfectly. I opened up to the will of fortune. That's the tables turning in your favor. Open up again to the Ten of Cups, King of Swords. So I be saying the King of Swords is Archangel Michael. Uh because he has a sword. And the Ten of Cups does talk about a happily ever after type situation for whoever this is meant for. So I just feel like um Something just needs to be 
put out in the open because somebody is either bullying or trying to make themselves look like a victim in a situation where they're actually the perpetrator or perpetrators because we started off with three of cups in reverse being something someone is dealing with using them for money hive mind group thing it says somebody could have been doing all this for money, which mm, mother is here. Could be a mother involved. Aquarius is here. It could be an Aquarius involved. A blessing you will soon receive. That's that already showed up with the King of Wands. And you gotta pay attention. <laughs> Bro. Black sheep. See, that's a reading I put on my other um, channel about, and then Aquarius again is definitely an Aquarius involved, and it is an Aquarius involved in my situation as well. Definitely putting that video up, video up before this. You got right idea, wrong bitch, and they was so they was getting so bold with it, thinking I was stupid, but really, I was never dumb. That they would like talk about rituals and shit that they would do as far as like going to the river and taking shit to, to ancestors and like trying to actually i went hiking with one of them and they wanted to go down to a farther part of the river of the river and start reciting basically like curses like parts of the bible that are like curses like bring them down from their haughty ways or whatever like because they thought i guess they thought i was being arrogant like when they saw cars in my house or whatever and i, I was like well i do They'd be like, oh, whatever, be a nosy. And I'd be like, well, I just be doing uh, readings on YouTube or whatever. And then they would like ask for the channel and I wouldn't give it to them because it's like something in me told me not to give it to them. But they definitely found it anyway. But for that full story, like I said, watch the video I'm putting out before this. But Aquarius coming out twice is somebody with heavy Aquarius in their chart involved. And um, maybe they're being used for money or like they were used by somebody to get close to you or get information about you um the three of cups of reverse can talk about secret societies or like um cults as well but it's not upright it's not like people who come together to celebrate each other or to exchange positive energy it's the exact opposite it's people who come together and feel empowered by their ability to be able to what like gang up on a person or sacrifice a person or treat a person in a negative way for their own benefits look three of cups reverse the moon yeah they really thought they were doing some top secret cool shit but i just feel like it is <laughs> it's like a joke look at the dog laughing it's like a joke in the spiritual realm i don't know what the fuck they think they're thinking they're going to get but even if you get it, as far as like money or being able to ruin a person's reputation, like why do y'all think that everybody passes away in its lifetime? Why do you think that is? Like it gotta be something else to this. So even whatever it is you get, how long is that gonna last? You have to face what the fuck you do to people and for what? Things that you can't take with you any fucking way. So it does show them as delusional as well. Just making up things to make themselves feel better or to cover up their secrets. Um, the high priest is the three of pentacles. Uh, they have a lot of secrets that they would like to take to the grave. And the thing is, I wouldn't smoke on none of y'all's secrets. If y'all wasn't constantly attacking me and trying to use other people to do so. And I'm not talking about all of them either. At all like please people weird like and i didn't even tell the man i didn't even explain everything that i've explained in this video or that video to the man because he is ultimately an outsider but he's an outsider who you told lies about me to. i was just like bro that's weird secrets revealed is what i opened up to light seasons you're seeing a light that some people are in your life for a season and not forever season reason whatever 
rage is here. Somebody could be enraged when they find out that you know secrets or that you tell secrets or that you, I mean, at this point, it would be, it just is safer for me to tell what the fuck is going on. Because it looked like the facts is saying, not no cards, the facts, because the video I made, I'm putting out before this is before this reading, so... The facts are saying that y'all trying to set something up and create a narrative for after the fact. Like, it's weird. So, you got etheric cords. So, secrets revealed about etheric cords. So, these are cords. You see the family here. So they look like karmic family or friendships where cords need to be cut. And you know this now because secrets have been revealed. So, yeah. Last card. Like, <laughs> they really always stuff. In, ca in case she ever tell the truth about us, we gotta make her look nuts. Like, just leave me alone. I don't bother you. I don't want. I don't bother you none of y'all really, at all. You gotta arise from nothing to everything. And this makes sense with my situation too, maybe yours as well. When I say mine, it's really because I know it's meant to relate to somebody else who's going to watch this. From nothing to everything. Like in my situation, main reason why one of my siblings is um, coming against me hard because it was like literally out their mouth. You're never going to be shit in your life. You're never going to do nothing worth doing. You're never going to be anything. So anything.